Today's lesson is all about how to make trousers, but not just how to make trousers. What it is, is that I'm using a particular pattern. This pattern that I'm going to be goes inside the pocket to give it a nicer finish. So when he puts his hands in it, you see the fabric. Right, so that's the first one I'm going to do. So that is the lining that goes at the back of the lapel. I forgot the name of this, which goes at the back of the flap for the zip. And that's quite stylish the way how they've done it. So I'm going to do it back the, exactly the same way that is done as well. And what, what I found as well is when I pulled out the zip, when I pulled this bit here out, when I pulled this bit out, this was folded over. And there was some interlining inside, keeping that nice and strong. So I'm going to put that back. Look, there's a, they've iron on right here to make that a bit stronger. I'm going to do the same again. So what I say is, what you see they've done, learn something from it. Because I learned something from that. And that's what I'm going to do. Right, so let me do the pocket. Another tip I forgot to tell you. When you are making a quantity like this, you don't do one pair of trousers and then move on to the next one. You don't do that. No, you don't. If you do that, you'll find by the time you've finished one, you can't be bothered to do the others. So you don't do it. Do it as a production. When you put in the zips, you put in all the zips. When you're stitching up the side of the leg, you stitch up all the side of the legs. When you are making the pockets, you make all the pockets. So you do everything as though you're doing one pair, but you're doing them all at the same time. And that is the way you will get through making quantities of the same thing. Even if they are different colours. If they're different colours, try and find material that can use the same cotton for everything but of course when it comes to top stitching then you use the right cotton but this is how you do mass production this is how you do it sections at a time and then put the whole thing together and finish them all at the same time that's my little tip for you and that's what I'm going to do for this so you will see all three trousers finish at the same time now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move these out of the way, that's the back, this is the front, I'm going to deal with the front now. Here are my pockets, I've done all of my pockets, so I've got three pairs of pockets here. Let's deal with that first to show you. Here's the front of my trousers and all six, all three are there. But before I pull them apart, I'm going to just nip it here for the dart. That's the dart. Make sure that they're all the nips are, are done. Right. Here we've got some inter interfacing here. I can't find my, I've got a reel of it and I can't find it. It's underneath there somewhere. So what I'm going to do, because I ha can't take it out, I'm going to use this bonder web and just press some on it. So at least it's got something. Oh, right. I didn't really need bonder web but better than nothing. I think I'll better leave it without till I find it. Right, so let's move the pattern. Let's take the pattern off. That goes to show this trousers was tailor made. So here's my pattern. So let's 
Let's just use two. Just a minute. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a pair. So this is a pair. So let me move the others out of the way for the moment so I can show you. There is one of our trousers, the front. So there you can see there's a lip here. There's a lip right there. So we're going to take the pocket, which is this pocket. And we're going to stitch the side down. So that's the one that goes there. And it flips under. And that's how you will look at the pocket. So that's what's going to go there. So try not to make it too confusing for you. So let's put it down here. Yes. We'll do the same here. Let's bring it down. And that's, we're going to stitch these up. I forgot to explain to you. Here are the pockets. There we have a left and a right pocket. And this bit here is going to be folded over and joined to the front of the trousers. So here are our pockets. My pocket to the front of my trousers. Now I'm going to fold my pocket back. I'm going to fold it back probably a quarter of an inch. And where that quarter of an inch quarter of an inch. I'm going to top stitch it on here to make it strong. But I'm not going to stitch onto the white section. Looking back on your sample on the other half of the trousers, where is it? The pocket. Looking back on the pocket, they haven't stitched on the lining, they just stitched it. And here they've got some interfacing inside it. I haven't I I have got the interfacing but I can't find it right now. So either you stitch that down or you leave it. I'm gonna stitch one and then I'm gonna leave the rest. You have the choice. And then when you stitch it down and put the pocket, lie the pocket down. Let it find itself. Do you know what? I moved it. I should have continued, left it up. I'm going to pull this out and start again. Oh no, that's fine. No, it's not. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 
I want that to line up there. I'll sort that out. And that's where it goes. Let's check this again. Yep. Because we've got to allow for seam allowance to chip. So that's what we're going to do. I regret bringing it down now. There. That's where I'm going to have it. And then we stitch along there. The shape. Okay. So let me do that. Where's the other side of these trousers? And while I'm at the machine, the two nips that I put at the front here of the trousers, I'm just going to, while I'm at the machine, I'm just going to stitch that down just half an inch so that I'll be the pleat in the front of my trousers. So that's what I'm going to do for these trousers now. So I'm going to go in and sew it. stitch this up I decided while I was on the machine I might as well stitch the um, the pleat as well so I just tacked it there now if we look at the uh, back to our trousers the tuck, it's just a tuck, it's not a pleat. So I've tucked it, so and it's going to be facing that way. So that's that that done. So that forms our pleat. And here is our pocket. So as you can see the trousers is taking shape. So that's the trousers. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now get the back of the trousers and stitch the back onto it. Here is the one that I stitched the side stitched along here and this one there's two different types so this one's not stitched on top that's top stitch that one isn't there's a pleat that one's top stitch 